Hi, welcome in this new project in HTML and CSS. In this video, you will learn how to build something like this simple web page. As you see here, it's a web page for a sports store. The point from this project is how to create a parallax scrolling, like this. As you see here, we have a section which has a background gray that kind of make you feel that it's cover uh, the picture so this is the project you can now pause the video and give it a try then you can follow with me as you see here the structure of this project there is a picture that has a heading and then there is section that contains some details about uh, this picture and it divided into four parts the first part is about uh, the store and then jersey which has some information about it and the user can start shopping from this button and pants and final sneakers and here is a social media icons so if you start creating each part and style it then create the next parts because they are similar so the first part is a picture uh, with a heading in the center and then uh, there is a section that describes this picture so firstly let me create a division for the whole project which has a class equal to parallax and then the first division as a class I will give it two classes one to add the picture as a background and then the second one will be common for all the divisions so the first one background I will make it store I will use this one to add a background image and then background which will be coming with all the divisions to add some styles for this background and then this division contain a heading tag h2 which has a class title and call my store So this is the heading and we will add the image using CSS and then section which will be the description about the store now if we give it a class equal to product section Now let we make a division as a class equal to product wrapper which wrap uh, the paragraph and the title and the first element is a title h3 as a class equal to product title and called my store and then a paragraph to describe this store and has a class equal to product about now to insert a long epsim uh, paragraph that's it let me see so the first division will be the title with the picture and then the second one will be the description which has a title and then a paragraph 
that we now style the first part. Let we make external style. So let we create another file. Now let we call it style dot css. And then let we link it here. Now let me add a style for the whole body. So body. Now let me remove the margin. Let me see. Nice. And then let me add a style for the whole division that wrap the project, which is as a class parallax. Let me specify the height be 100 view height so we can make it responsive nice there is also another style that will add uh, the parallax scroll down but let we add it later then let we add a style for uh, the background but before we add the for the background let we add for the background store let we make background image so here is the image but of course we have to add some styles here so let me make the position center and then the background size will be cover then we have to make the height and I want it to be 100 view height and the width one hundred view width let we see nice but as you see here uh, there is a space above the picture so let we add a display flex nice so let me now add a style for the header so the header has a class title so we want to make it in the center and add background color so firstly let we position it Uh, let will make it absolute and then what we make with 100% so it will cover uh, the whole division and then let we add text align and make it in the center And then let me make it uppercase letter so text transform uppercase and then let we add spacing so make letter spacing five pixels let we add height 100 pixels let me make color white 
and font size 5 rem and finally it will make background color let me make it black but let me make opacity 0.4 what do you see nice but as you see here it's not in the center so here in the background let me make a line items and make it center nice so now it's in so I'm sorry as you see here there is a horizontal scroll bar so let we remove it let we add here overflow but hidden from X nice so now everything going well in the first part which is the picture and the title just remain to add the style for the paragraph so it has a class product section let we add style for the whole section background color And then let we make color white let we make font size 1.1 rem letter spacing 2 pixels Let we make padding 3rem and height to be 100 view height. So as you see here, we give 100 view height for the section and also for the background. So they will be kind of above each other and that's what we want. We want to scroll and feel like uh, the section cover the picture so let me continue let me make margin 0 as you see here uh, the heading uh, is fixed let me continue and fix it later now let me add display Flex. So as you see now, when we scroll down, uh, the heading is fixed. So let we here at the position or a little. Let we see when we scroll down now it will be behind the division or the section but of course we don't want that and for the background let we add also position relative so here let me make position relative and try nice so now when we scroll down nice now it's time for the parallax scroll down as you see here it's normal we have a picture which has a heading and then a section so everything looking normal so how we can add it so we have to use some 3d uh, properties so here for the background let me add transform and it will be translate Z which mean defines a 3d translation 
in z direction so let me make it minus one pixel so till now nothing happened so we have to add a scale for example let me make it two let me see now so scale it's kind of make it zoom in and also the same thing when we scroll down like normal so here we have to add perspective and make it the same thing like here but positive so one pixel perspective used to give a 3d positioned element some perspective how it look like for the user so let me try now so it returned it back to normal and when we scroll down nice so there is a 3d effect has been added so those are the key the transform and the perspective if we make this minus 2 let me try so the size decreased but if we make this 2 like this now it returned to normal let we continue and add style for uh, the section the heading and the paragraph so product upper now let we make margin Udo to be in the center like this what do we make box sizing and border box nice then what we style uh, the heading product title now what we make it in the center so text align center and then what we add uh, font size for rem nice letter spacing 5 pixels and also let me make it uppercase so transform A text transform and let me make it upper case let me try then let me add for the paragraph so product about now let me make margin from top 50 pixel and remove any padding perfect for now like I told you the point is the parallax uh, scroll down and we got it the rest will be copy and paste. I will create the same thing. We styled here uh, the parallax, so we don't need to add any style. We style the background, just we will add a background uh, image for the next uh, division. We style the title, uh, we styled uh, the section uh, and the wrapper, the title and uh, the paragraph. So the same thing just there will be a button and we will add a style for it and finally the social links so here let we copy the same thing till section but here background for jersey The title will be 
jersey and here two now let we leave the same paragraph and then let we add a background image so this one is jersey and here it's called jersey what we see now nice but we have to add some style for the first section so there is an issue here what I see here um, the section is behind uh, the background picture so if we add Z index I think everything will be fine so here for the section what we add Z index Now let me make it one. Nice. So now the section is above uh, the background image. And then let me add a button here. which has a class equal to button now we call start shopping and then let me add an entity This is an arrow entity that we see. So this is the entity and here is the button. Let me style the button. So that button. Now let me add background color. Let me make it white. Would we add color? Would we add border? And the same color. Let we make padding sixteen pixels and thirty two uh, pixels. What we see nice. Let we add border radius. Five pixels. Now let me make font size thirty pixels. And finally let we make cursor pointer. Let we make hover for this button so that button hover. Now let we add background color. The background color for uh, the border and the color will be the background color uh, for the button. So
So color, make it white. Also, we can make a transition. It will give it a nice effect. So transition, duration, 0.4. Second, nice. Let me copy uh, the division for the jersey and create the second division, which will be pants. So here will be pants. Now let me create the last division, which will be sneakers. Let me add a background uh, image. Let me create one for uh, the pants and another one for the sneakers. Nice, so we read the pants section and finally the sneakers. Just to remain the social media uh, links and copyright sign. Firstly, let's start with uh, social media. So here below the button, let me create division and give it a class equal to social media. Contact us. And then let me create the first link for Facebook. And has a class equal to FA, which is short for Font Awesome, and then Font Awesome Facebook. Those classes belongs to uh, Font Awesome website. I will use it to get the icons for Facebook, Google, and uh, Twitter. So to see the icons, first we have to get a link from Font Awesome. But I will get the link from W3Schools. Here is the link. Just copy this link. And paste it in the head here. Now let me create another one uh, for Twitter and for Google. So here is Twitter. Uh, this one Google. What do you see? Nice, but where is Facebook? Yeah, here Facebook. Nice. Now let you style them. Firstly, let you style uh, the division. That social media. Let 
go to add position absolute and the from tab so let me make from tab uh, 90 view height and from right just five view width did you see nice but here let we make the sentence inside a paragraph tag now let us start the links so the common class is fa now let we add some properties like padding 15 pixel let we make font size 25 pixel let we add width 20 pixel height the same thing so we can make it as a circle by give it uh, a property border radius 50% and of course text decoration none nice now let me style each one of them so for facebook let me add background color and color twitter and google so that if a facebook it will make background color the color for Facebook so here the code for the color now it will make color white and the same thing for uh, tour and Google to try nice but just remain to give it a text center so here let we make text align center now let we add hover so that if a hover now let me change uh, the color and background color. Nice, but there is something wrong with the color. Yeah, here. Let we now make the copyright sign. So here below, let we add a paragraph. And the entity for copy. So ampersand and then copy semicolon. Now let we type for example Let we add a uh, style. And the same thing, let we add position, absolute. So I want to make it beside or next to the social media uh, links, but in the left. So position. Absolute. And then from top, 100 view height. Let me see. Nice. 
nice so as you see here we still have the parallax scroll down now this is the point from this project so that's everything in this project so try to create something by yourself and i'm always here for any help good luck and see you next time